In this video, we want to calculate the next three iterations using the Newton's method for this particular problem. Um, in this problem statement, we did an initial guess of x naught is equal to 1. So let's get started. So we can first say that this is the formula here for Newton's method. And we want to calculate the next three iterations. So we want x1, x2, and x3. So if n is 0, we get x1. We don't know x1, so we could say that x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by the derivative of x0. So I'll show you what we need to do. So we get x1. x1 because we set n is 0. And if n is 0, I can write 0 here x0 minus f parentheses x0 because we said that n was 0 divided by f prime the derivative of x0 and so ne next step is x0 was 1 so we say 1 minus so this is the function so what I'm going to do here is plug in 1 here so I get 1 squared minus 5. Next, we plug it in here for the f prime. f prime means the first derivative. So we want to get the derivative of this. So the derivative of x squared would be 2x. And x is 1. And the derivative of 5 is 0. So we can keep it as is. So 1 minus, we have 1 squared minus 5 divided by 2. And so 1 minus 5 is going to give us negative 4 divided by 2, so negative 2. So 1 minus minus 2 would be 3. And if you want, you can plug this on the calculator. So we get 3. And so this right here is one iteration. But we want two more. So we want x2 and x3. And so if you want, right now you could pause the video and try to get x2 and x3. And so let's do it. So now we will do x2. So x2 would be x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1. Same idea, except I'm, I'm increasing by 1. I don't know x2, but I know x1 now. So I plug in 3 minus, um, same idea here, I plug in 3 here, so I get 3 squared minus 5. Um, I have 2x because the derivative like this, so it's 2x, x is 3, so 2 divided by 3, and this right here would equal 2.333. We can box in this answer, and now we will do x3. So again, same idea, now this becomes x2 minus f parentheses x2 divided by f prime of x2. So we know that x2 is this number right here. So we had 2.333 minus, um, we can do the same thing, so 2.333 squared minus 5 divided by this, the derivative, so 2 times 2.333, we would get 2.238. We can box in this answer. So this right here was one iteration, two iterations, three iterations. And now I'll plug this, this actual question into the calculator to show you that we're getting closer and closer to the answer. Now I'll do a quick check using the TI Inspire CX cost. So if you have this calculator, you can check. So menu, algebra, solve. Um, we have x squared minus five is equal to zero comma x. We want to solve for x. Um, we want an approximation for this answer. So I can hit control, enter. And so the answer is approximately negative 2.23 and positive 2.23. And in our answer, we got 2.238. So it's off by 0 0.002. And now you may ask, when we solve this problem, we didn't get this negative. And I'll show you why. Now the reason why 
we got only one answer is because the initial guess was one. If the initial guess, let's say it was going to be negative five, then we would get the other answer. We would get the negative one. And that's all we need to do for this problem.